You don't want to come and school. You don't want to do factory work. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to come and you know hustle. Hostel. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're so so welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Shola. I am a Nigerian currently in Toronto, Canada. I film about my faith, lifestyle, and I give immigration tips. Before we go on, I just want to say a big thank you to all 20,000 of you and more now. You know, thank you guys so so much for your love. Your support so far on this channel has been amazing, amazing balls um yeah if you're new please go ahead and subscribe like this video leave me a comment join the family we now have a name love tribe love tribe love tribe <laughs> it's all about love on this channel okay um yes please join the family subscribe subscribe is free it's free absolutely free Nam. Nam, please because thank you two for thanks <laughs> all right guys so today's video is a special one i guess that's why i'm this pumped guys i've had tones and tones of people ask me you know shola give us a legit agency shola i've tried this it was a scam shola i was duped shola i was this shola 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 is here she's here for you guys guys i have amazing news for you you in this video so watch to the end okay this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the easiest ways to come to canada okay and it's not necessarily through or via um the student or study route but i'm going to share with you guys it is not to um erase or neglect the fact that you know study route is a route you know but there are other routes that you know people really don't pay attention to so i'm going to be showing or sharing with you guys let me just take the disclaimer okay i'm not an agent i'm not an immigration officer i'm not a visa officer i'm not a nada i'm just me i'm just shola i do my research you know get the necessary information i pass it on to you it is um the onus <laughs> is on you to do further research you know to get updated because i mean whenever you're watching this things some things might have changed you know so yeah um but i'm not an agent but i have one finally yay <laughs> You guys that have been asking me, you know, give us this, give us that. So give there's us. an agency called BF Edu Consult. I'm going to write it on the screen. I'm going to leave all the details in the um, comment section pinned and in the description box. Guys, you know, on this channel, we don't do, we do legit, legit, legit. <laughs> 100% you know we don't we don't do mago mago we don't do nah 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 not here nah nah we have to feel the lord okay <laughs> so yes i have this amazing agency guys if you know or many of you do know my classmate deborah you must have seen her in my couple of my videos and even the christmas one this was the same agency that helped or that yeah that she that processed her um coming here like from the beginning to the end and they've helped so many other people um i actually have like um video i don't know i might post it i'll post it on my instagram so if you're following me go and follow me on instagram okay so you can see it they have testimonies they have results i mean <laughs> let me bring the bring in the quote here okay <laughs> um only fools doubt proofs yes courtesy bishop david Oedipo. if you see proofs you shouldn't be doubting right so they have proofs they have results they've worked with so many people and this is not just about you studying both pr for visit uh, visit visa for tourist visa for um, work visa for what now everything and it's not just to canada it's to you know the uk the you know eu countries australia the us anything and everything just they got you they got you so click on the i'm going to put everything i'm going to put on the screen their name their you know whatsapp contact in the description as well in the everywhere so by now you cannot say i didn't do anything for you you cannot even see it especially in this 2022 because you're about to be my next door neighbor so that's to avoid stories that i don't want to be hearing now inshallah did not help us i am bringing out this content now so that you can rush in and you know who knows 2022 you can ah, this is march you can still be here in december or by december so what are you waiting for hmm? Gozi. <laughs> so guys before we go on let me just say here that there's no simple way you know to migrate to canada it will depend on a lot of factors 
money being you know <laughs> at the base <laughs> on money your profile you know different people with different journeys right the process that you're coming in through or with you know it would take some would take longer than the other some would require more documents than the other some would you know require more money than the other so it depends it depends on the routes that you're coming in with that's what would largely depend or determine how soon or how quick or how easy it would be for you to get your visa okay so that said i'm going to be sharing with you guys four most popular ways of coming into canada and like like i said it doesn't necessarily have to be studied that one is there and i already made a video on you know how to come in a full detailed detailed video so if you're detailed so if you're new here just you know click on the link i'll put it somewhere here um after this one after this video so you go check it out how to um, come in or as an international student all the costs and all of that but this one i'm just going to be sharing with you guys you know some other ways that people don't you know are not so aware of or that don't maximize you know so firstly we have express entry right so express entry would usually on an average for candidates that apply take um six months to two years it's one of the most popular ways to come into canada we have the federal skilled um worker we have the federal skilled trades um we have CEC um Canadian experience class but this um the CEC is usually you know for those within the Canadian setting or that have um Canadian experience so with this FSW like people basically apply like um you get in the pool you have they have what they call um CRS um comprehensive rating system they usually have cut off marks from time to time so your cutoff mark um, would determine, you know, if you get into the pool, it's highly competitive, guys. Would determine if you get into the pool, then when you come into the pool, <laughs> you know, and you you um, qualify, you meet up to that, you know, the competitive mark or score that they're looking at, then they send what they call um, ITA, invitation to apply. Then you can apply for your permanent residence to Canada. So for this express entry, you need to meet up with certain requirements. Of course, they have um, education, they have um, proof of funds, of course, very important. They have um, your work experience, your language proficiency. You know, they have cutoff mark. Like I said, it's an addition of all of this that brings about, you know, the cutoff or if you qualify to, um, if you meet up to the CRS score and then you can apply afterwards so but the thing is for this now like currently with the whole pandemic and all of that like i said things can get cha can change you know can get updated but there's been a like a slack in a draw like a pause on the federal skilled workers i mean some people are still coming in actually i guess they've been in the pool for a long time you know or maybe they've been invited to apply i don't know but you know they're set to release it anyway anytime soon or you know start doing it again that's the express entry i mean in the next three years canada is looking at um you know inviting like over two hundred and forty thousand newcomers to canada so i mean it's something that's going to open up soon and you know let me know if you guys want a detailed um video on this and uh, maybe you know in a couple of weeks or months when it's open and all of that i can do an updated version but that's basically what you know the express entry entails okay so the next one is provincial nominee or provincial nomination program right pnp so in 2022 canada plans to um invite over 83,000 um plus um, new immigrants through pnp so um yeah they are actually different requirements for different provinces i mean each province has their crs cut off and you know um would probably would largely depend or maybe not largely but um sometimes depend on if you have you know someone in that country like a maybe a sibling a relative spouse mm -hmm. that is in that province that is a permanent resident or a citizen right there you know there's another mark for that one that that, that is you know that helps that boosts the crs and all of that but amidst all the provinces there are actually four provinces that are considered you know the easiest in a way to get into and it's um saskatchewan um alberta nova scotia and ontario no alberta actually has um their crs is as low as 300 so if you find all your relative in calgary in calgary in calgary edmonton all of them they are there <laughs> yeah now better so um yeah they have i mean if they come in through pr many people going through you know um through this um pnp to that um province because of the low 
um, CRS um, score. Because I mean, if you meet up with the CRS score, right, um, you would be in the pool and you know, to be easier and you know, sharp, sharp, you get your, <laughs> your PR and all of that. So yeah, that's the about um, provincial um, nomination program, or nominee program, whatever, PNP. <laughs> so yeah. The next one is business immigration. So if you have experience um, managing your own business, you know, you're self-employed, you have your business, you have your thing going, you know, you might want to consider um, business immigration. This is not something that is so common or that people really, um, um, you know a route that people really coming through but it's actually one that you know both federal and provincial um government makes provision for right so they have um what they call business immigration program so if you have your thing your business of course terms and conditions or you know certain requirements you know you what your business would entail you know the investments the 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 what to call now the revenue everything that would have to do with the business would be considered of course you'd be you know scrutinized and all of that but i mean it's something that you could consider if you have your business you have your thing going you don't want to come and school you don't want to do factory work you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to come and you know hustle hostel <laughs> you want to just you know have your business have your thing going i mean it could be a, a, a route to consider a way for you to consider yeah. so i mean if you plan to um, be self-employed in canada or to start a, start up a business you could actually consider this um, business um, immigration route like i said you know everything is literally on their website so you can you know get um, further in, um, information from their website because i know i know a couple of people have asked me you know if i have this business can i come and start can i continue can I this can I that so yeah you could just you know do further research and who knows you can just come and do business and not be hustling hustling <laughs> so another route is through sponsorship right if you have a qualifying family member qualifying meaning that you know there are certain conditions so you know the person is over 18 you know is a a permanent resident or um, Canadian citizen you know has certain amounts that you know is required of them to earn in a year you know um you know you then you're the person is your spouse not necessarily only spouse maybe your child your grandchild your what now maybe your parent you, you know, know if that person is your family member so you can you don't necessarily need to go through study or if the person is your spouse you don't need to come and study you know get your study visa to come in and you know continue all of that if the person has their pr or is a citizen they can just sponsor you and you just but please don't come and be lounging you have to walk you know because that's the tales i don't know why i'm going that route now but there's so many you know things with this sponsorship thing and i mean they we have the good you know people do it i'm not even trying to work my business everybody oh man for himself but i'm just saying that i think one of the many mistakes that many people um new immigrants or maybe not many like some people let me not generalize now but i've seen some that you come in you were sponsored right it's not the an excuse for you to just come and sit down and lounge and think oh i'm okay now you are now a peer please walk support the person if the person has mortgage already if the person you know is doing their thing whether the person is the male or the female if even if you're coming in as a female because many ladies that be looking for uh, men husbands in their abroad you need to understand their abroad way <laughs> okay their mortgages they have you know car insurance finance all of this and that to pay so don't just come and lounge i mean i really believe it's unfair well it depends on what you to plan but i'm just saying if it's that you just come in you know you don't know how things are done and you just relax i i, I think it's unfair really so just i mean again it's not my business but let me just participate it for somebody that might want to hear it so don't be a liability, okay? Whatever you can start with, just start. If they sponsor you, so come, my brother, my sister, just start something and be supporting. You get don't don't be a liability, okay? Because <laughs> this year alone, right? Canada plans to invite over a hundred thousand, you know, um, new immigrants through sponsorship. So I mean, if you have you have your brother, you have your sister, you have your spouse, you have this, your mom, your and you want to bring them in, and you have the required um um what's it called or they have the required um the requirements they can bring you in but like i said please don't be a liability it's not fair it's not fair i don't know why i'm saying this but the spirit of the mom might just be speaking to somebody it's unfair please 
I don't know what to be my business, but I mean, it all it largely depends on what you guys plan as your uh-huh, by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so for the sponsorship um program, right? Usually it will take um eight to twelve months. Like I said, the the processing time varies with this um um the programs or the routes. Um, but this one will take you know eight to twelve months. You know, on an average, I believe. Every, like the the one that would take the highest would be like two years i believe i hope it isn't more than that but at least i've heard on an average is um eight months to two years so for sponsoring you would need um roughly twenty seven thousand to seventy thousand depending on the number of people you're bringing in you know depending on a lot of factors basically but you would need that i mean the person sponsoring now would need need to have that amount because you have to be you have to show that you can you know sponsor indeed and um for the other routes like the express entry the business immigration and all of that you would need um an average proof of funds now of like thirteen thousand canadian dollars guys um to say what 35 canadian dollars again it would depend on the number like i said it's a range it would depend on the number of people but don't forget guys that i told you that you now have you know a baba nick bejo <laughs> I don't know what that was but i mean you now have an agency that you can um, reach out to like i said i'm going to put the code the link the number the everything everything on the screen um in the description box so you guys go you know click through go on ahead and you know make on the make all the inquiries you need um start processing you know come and share your testimonies because they have testimonies they have proofs to show okay um yeah so i really do hope you guys find this useful please let me know in the comment section below um give this video a thumbs up guys because i've not been begging Bikunu, like the, even if you don't like it like you don't list your life she's talking the nonsense she's talking the rubbish. why she looking like that why she doing that please please you don't even have to like me just like the video Bikunu. <laughs> please like the video because it helps with um you know recommendations and all of that please subscribe please it's free please i'm very sorry if i've offended you in any way i've offended you please <laughs> please i'm not even shaming right now this year we ain't shaming no more um yeah what else leave me a comment please yes guys and don't forget to follow me on instagram plenty plenty goodies you know that will be coming up soonest and all of that yes i love you guys love tribe i love you guys so so much thank you for sticking through with me and um yeah and everything that you do i hope to see you in my next one bye uh -oh. the process for the sponsorship uh...